In this tutorial, we're going to talk about password protecting your uh, mockups and your prototypes and your files. So here's the problem. Oftentimes you want to showcase graphics and samples and ideas to your clients, but you're afraid of them ripping off your samples, ideas, and prototypes. So what we're going to do is we're going to protect ourselves. So the easiest way to showcase a file to a client is to send a PDF document. You know, 98% of all computers have Acrobat Reader, so they're capable of opening an Acrobat file. The other really great thing about you know, PDF files is they really preserve a lot of uh, quality. So you can see you know, all the detail of the design, it doesn't look bad. So of course it's a nice easy way to showcase a design. So with that said, let's talk about you know, still engaging in that process, but at the same time protecting ourselves. And the easiest way to do that is to do a password protected PDF. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to go to the file menu in CorelDRAW, and I'm going to say publish to PDF. And once I go ahead and activate that function, I want to click on settings. And once I click on settings, I have the opportunity to go through some of the PDF settings here. And these are actually pretty important, especially if you have a, a multi-page product, or project rather, or really complex graphics. So working sort of left to right, you're going to want to work through these tabs here and make changes as you see fit. So we, of course, can go under color and we can render colors. We can embed color profiles. It's really a matter of your preference. You can put in uh, author, so we, you, know, you can uh, uh, document who created the project and at what date. You can of course put in keywords as well. And we can command you know, how this uh, PDF file will behave. So when somebody launches it, do we want it to generate uh, you know, thumbnails? So if you have a multi-page document, do you want to see thumbnails on the left-hand side? On start, do you want to show it full screen, which is a nice way to showcase a design? So we can make all those options here. And once again, we're just going to work left to right. Um, now, if you have a really complex graphic, especially a vector-based design, you know, we can uh, compress it to make the PDF a lot smaller. So we'll go to JPEG. We can control the quality or the compression uh, type uh, now by adjusting this little slider here. And uh, continuing to work left to right, uh, one of the most important things is probably to, um, to deal with uh, text. So in a lot of occasions, if you do not uh, tick these two boxes here, compress text, and line art and export all text as curves, you run the risk of doing a font substitution in your PDF document. So I always recommend ticking these two boxes here, compress text and export all text as curves. Uh, go ahead and make those selections. And uh, the last tab is security. Now there's two types to manage uh, PDF security. We can do an open password and a permission password. So if you select an open password, Whoever opens up your PDF file will be required to enter in a password just to see the file. Now, that would be useful if you're sending a really you know, precious document to maybe your CPA or something of that nature, and you don't want anybody to see it. But of course, we don't want to create a barrier to a client seeing our project. So we're going to do a permission password. And I'll just uh, do 123 and 123 for this particular password. Now, we can also give this um, printing permissions. So one of the things I recommend is doing a low-resolution printing permission. And in terms of editing permissions, you can go and command those as well. So, uh, you know, if, if a client were to get a file and print it out, you know, at least it's going to be really low resolution. So you're going to create challenges to them in taking your content to, say, a different provider. Of course, we can't, you know, pr protect ourselves in every single capacity, but it's a great way to do it. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and click OK, and we'll save this file to our desktop. We'll save this uh, sam as sample. Go ahead and rename this. And I'll go ahead and save this to the desktop, and we'll click Save. So now we have a password-protected PDF. So what that means is somebody is fully capable of opening the PDF and seeing all of the contents. So go back to our des desktop here. Go ahead and launch Sample. And you'll notice that we can open up that PDF document, and we can see every single you know, element about it. I'll go ahead and hit Escape. We can zoom in. That's the nice thing about a PDF document is we have the opportunity to zoom in and see the details of the document. But here's what a client won't be able to do, is they can't forward it to a graphic designer, and they can't expect to drag and drop it into Illustrator or Corel and get access to all of the graphic content. So notice when I try to drag a password-protected PDF into Corel, it says, please enter document password. Okay, so unless you have the password, which we do, go ahead and click OK, um, your client won't be able to get access to your graphic. Now here's something I want to point out is when I re-imported that, um, or imported that password uh, PDF document, notice when I go to wireframe. So PDF can actually contain perfect vector data. 
Um, so what I would recommend doing if you really, really want to protect yourself to high degrees is you can, of course, convert your, uh, you know, your, your graphic into a bitmap, a high-res bitmap, so it still displays and people can still see the quality, uh, but once again, you're going to give yourself an added layer of protection in the event that uh, somebody wants to print it out and uh, manipulate the file. Now, this is also a hint hint. We'll talk more about this when we start to, uh, to present tutorials on logo cleanup and uh, you know, sourcing original files. But if you go to, say, a corporate website or you scour the Internet and you find a PDF document like an employment application or a media kit and you drag and drop that PDF into Corel, there's a pretty high likelihood that you're going to get access to, to all of the graphic content because many graphic designers don't uh, go through the processes of uh, rendering bitmaps and password-protecting PDF documents.